here is what they asked you to do. They asked you to write this class called building. It's going to have two properties, uh, an owner and number of windows. Then we need a two string. We need a full feature constructor, getters and setters. And then they asked for this special method called get tax. So to get started, we're going to open this up and and we're going to start off by declaring the properties. The properties were the owner of the building and how many windows it had. So we're going to go private. And now I need to know what data type should the owner's information be here. Miss Nuha? So that should be string owner. And then what data type should the windows be, Miss Mullen? Some of you might do stuff like num of windows. Um, since Windows is an integer, it pretty much goes without saying that it's a number. So I would recommend, it's only a recommendation, you keep it simple like that. And so now we have our properties defined in the, the attributes, properties, state variables. These are defined, declared, I should say, they're declared in the static area. And now the next thing I'll do is I'll put in a two string. So I'll go at override. This at override, by the way, is optional, but you're strongly encouraged to put that in there. That will help the compiler help you figure out if you've gotten the header information right for the to string. And then you're going to go public string to string. And recall that the to string doesn't print anything. It just formats the string and returns it. So anything similar to this, anything similar to that will get full credit. OK, now they wanted a full featured constructor. So we're going to go public building. Notice that the constructor is unique in two respects from other methods. First, the name of the constructor method has to be exactly the same as the name of the class. And second, constructors do not have return types, not even void. Those two clues tell the compiler that what you've written here is a constructor. And what we need to do here is we need to put the parameters in. So I'm going to put in here string own and uh, int win. And then I'm going to set my owner to the own variable. And I'm going to set the windows to the win variable. So this is how the constructor is written. Now we're going to write getters and setters. So for the getter, for the owner, I'm going to say public string get owner. And for the windows, I'm going to say public int get windows, turn windows. Then I have my setters. I have public void set owner. And I need a set windows. Notice that the getters have return types that match the data type of whatever is being returned. So the get owner returns a string because owner variable is a string type. And get windows returns an integer because windows is an integer data type. And the set methods typically have void return types because they don't need to give any information back, but they do have parameters that match the data types. So when this set owner is called, the user has to tell it who the new owner is. And we're using that information to set the permanent variable here of owner, likewise with the windows. They asked for one additional method called get tax. What should be the return type on get tax here? It should be a decimal number. And what we're going to do here is we're going to take the number of windows and we're going to multiply it by 10.5. And we're going to return this. If you wanted to use a variable here, that would be OK to do also. Now, one minor thing I want to point to, and you can see that I buried a magic number in the code. And last time we were together, I told you this was not a good idea. And so what we would like to do is we would like to take this specialized number and bring it to the top so that it can easily be seen and or changed in the future. So to do that, we could do this. And then down here, 
we could use that brand new constant. And so now it's much easier for the reader to understand what that 10.5 is. And the user can also change it later if they want to. And so this is a much more efficient, elegant way to write it versus just burying the magic number down here. Please try to code like this going forward now that you know about static constants. Whether this number needs to be private or public depends on whether it needs to be kept secret or not. If you don't want anyone else to know what the tax factor is, then you would just make this private. If you don't care if anyone finds out or if it's publicly known information, you can just leave it public. 